now we are going to produce multiple angles and half angles so first we know sine x plus y is sine x cosine y plus cosine x sine y if we replace y by x then what happens so in these you get sine x plus x which is sine x cosine x cosine x sine x because you replace y by x so x plus x is 2x so then we have sine 2x is equal sine x cosine x plus sine x cosine x which is 2 times sine x cosine x so this is the double angle formula we have another one so we have seen our third formula in the previous video that cosine x plus y is cosine x cosine y minus sine x sine y you can just notice carefully when sine goes with x plus y you have a plus sign cosine goes with x plus y you have a minus sign in sine function sine cosine comes together and they switch their angles here but for cosine 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 stays together sine sine together so now when i replace y by x i get here cosine x plus x which is 2x and the other side you get cosine x cosine x minus sine x sine x now cosine x cosine x can be written as cosine square x minus sine square x this is one form but we can produce other two we remember the trig identity cosine square x plus sine square x is one so if I subtract sine square x both sides, I get cosine square x is 1 minus sine square x. And if I subtract cosine square x both sides, I get sine square x is 1 minus cosine square x. So we can use that result here. If you replace your cosine square x by 1 minus sine square, and there is another sine square, so it will make 1 minus 2 sine square x this is your formula number two in cosine x on the other hand if i replace sine square x by one minus cosine squared then it will be like two cosine square x minus one so this is my third form now we can find a half angle so how you find a half angle formula we'll see in a minute we have 1 minus 2 sine squared x is cosine 2x. Now we can say if you move uh, to sine squared x other side, you get 1 minus cosine 2x and cosine 2x in the left side. So you get 2 sine squared x. Now divide both sides by 2. So then we get sine squared x is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. So then sine x will be now a square root of plus minus 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. The same way you can figure out cosine x will be plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. So we produce these angles. When I have x here, this will be double here. So if you put here 1 half x, then it will be just x. So this way you can create the relation between angles where you can use half angle.